Hey guys, welcome back. Welcome to the FSX404 channel. Let me set up this video very quickly for you. This video is actually tuning in a VOR, finding out you're heading to the VOR, and then flying to that VOR. Except, unlike Flight Simulator, this is doing it in an actual plane. This was filmed while I was flying from Montgomery Field up to Torrance. I was on the IFR flight plan. I was inside clouds for this video, and you'll see that. And basically, what happened was, I was on radar vectors, after departure, heading 270, and then at one point, the ATC said, Flight Direct Oceanside VOR. So what I'm going to show in this video is me tuning in, finding out my heading to the VOR, and then flying that heading. Basically that part of the flight that uh, red circle is denoting. Alright guys, we're in the airplane right now. We're around 3,000 feet and climbing to 4,000 feet. It's IMC outside, you can't see anything because we're inside the clouds. It's a pretty thick set of clouds. Right now I'm flying on vectors. The ATC gave me a heading and that's what I'm flying. I'm not using any other instruments for navigation. Pretty soon the ATC is going to tell me fly direct Oceanside VOR. At that point, I will tune in the Oceanside VOR into VOR1. And then I'm going to slowly start turning the OBS knob on the VOR until the needle is centered. And you can't tell really, but the triangle is pointing up, meaning I'm flying to the VOR. My heading on the OBS is 325. That means I need to fly a heading of 325 to get to the VOR. So I'm slowly turning, doing a standard rate turn to a heading of 325. Once I'm on a heading of 325, I'm going to keep it there for a while, just as in the flight simulation video. And then if the needle moves, I'll make little heading adjustments to compensate for the wind. But for now, I'm flying to a heading of 325, straight for the VOR. I had no idea what heading the VOR was on, but by tuning it in, centering my needle, I found out where the VOR is in reference to me. And really, it's as easy as it gets. That's all it is to VORs. We're flying to the VOR, or we're flying from the VOR. In this case, I tuned the VOR in, found out where it was, and now I'm flying to it. Now, I'm going to continue this video for a while. You guys can watch it if you want. And I'm going to move it a little bit forward because I'm going to stay at 4,000 feet for a while. But at one point, the ATC is going to tell me go up to a 6,000 feet. And as soon as I start climbing, I'm going to pop out of the cloud. The cloud layer was only about 300 feet above me. So I was just below the top layer of the clouds, about 300 feet below. So enjoy the rest of this video, and I'll see you guys soon. 